are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone, it's Erin. Welcome to August 2016. So let's get started with your alchemy scope for this month. Um, as we always do, we're going to tap into the Sabian symbol that's imbued at this particular Leo New Moon degree point and thus tap into the collective narrative, what is unfolding for the macro scale, for the collective, for all of us. And then I'm going to tune into the I Ching and we're going to tap into your particular sign's narrative, what is the unfolding theme for your storyline. And then again, as I always do, I'm going to pull up the um, embodiment. So who are you to optimize? become this month in order to flow through this month with ease and with optimal least effort and we're gonna do that via the Dakini but to start this month I um, went ahead and laid out using Chip Richards animal Oracle cards which are beautiful laid out 12 cards which you'll see in the next clip and I want you to tune in over the course of the reading tune into one card just one because this is a practice on really honing one what your main message is but two honing your intuition to tap into your soul's desire for your growth edge. So what is your soul telling you needs to be attended to most? That's why I want you to tap into just one, okay? And then at the end of the video, I'll do the reveal. So in the meantime, I wanna thank so much those of you who have subscribed, liked, and shared my videos. I never say that in these videos, and I think I'm needing to do that. Um, but please subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested, if you've seen some of my scopes in the past and haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you like this scope, there's lots of other things that I do. I do art channelings and I do various bits and pieces that come forward in these monthlies. So I hope you enjoy. And I want to remind those of you that aren't aware of my patron, uh, my patron account, I guess I would say, um, my patrons, that that join this alchemy family for eleven dollars or more per month get some amazing rewards and i want to make sure you're aware of what those rewards are very briefly i've been doing daily videos now so monday through friday i do a video short every day and post it and give that to my patrons and those are pieces of um, guidance and support and love notes so daily you get support from me via the patreon via your support. So that's my co-support back to you. And in addition to that, there's a monthly live Q&A call where we all gather together and um, you can ask your questions via video or via chat. So they have been in Skype, so it's been video to video grouping, gatherings together where you get to not only speak to me but meet some of the other people in this alchemy family, which is really fabulous. And in addition to that, there's a mid-cycle alchemy scope live. And that's a live stream on YouTube. And um, that is uh, done at the full moon because the, I work with the new moon cycle. So the mid-cycle alchemy scope always happens at the full moon. So you are more than welcome to dive in and read about the benefits to the $11 and up patron rewards that you get because they really are what I'm doing is I'm wanting to be able to offer as much as I can to as many people as I can and I'm wanting to earn a living doing this as well so for your support you get a lot of rewards back okay so the link is below this video in the description box as is my website as is all the other links that you need for this video so let's get started hi everyone so I am going to be laying out these beautiful animal oracle cards for you. I'm going to lay out 12 and I'm going to um, face them downward and I would like you to tune in to one, not several. I want you to tune in to just one. So this is going to be a practice of your intuition. We all need to get much, much better, much clearer 
on our intuitive guidance system. That is the way forward. So I'm going to lay these down and I really do want you to hone in, pause the video if you need to, and tune into just one. So let's start selecting our cards. I'm going to make sure that you can see as I'm laying them out. I think so, yeah. It's a little bit up there. Let's put it down here. Okay, and Okay, everyone, so start tuning in, and what we're going to do is we're going to come back to this video, this segment at the end of the video, with them reversed. So I'd like you to go ahead and select one, start tuning in now, and then confirm it at the end of the video, and then you'll see them turned over. I hope that makes sense. I'm just giving you time, essentially. Okay, so yeah, it's fitting. You can see everything, which is beautiful. Let's see if we can fit them all though. So what animal totem is gonna have a message for you? Okay, so let's do our last two over on this side. Okay, beauties. So, let's see. Yeah, you can see all of them, perfect. So, start your tune-in process, everyone. And then again, we're gonna go on to the rest of the information that came through for you this month. And then we're gonna come back and you're gonna see them reversed and we're gonna just touch on the meanings for you. Okay? Wonderful. Hi everyone. So let's take a look. On the collective scale for all of us, for humanity as a whole, we're looking at the macro cycle. And to do that we pull up the Sabian symbol, the imagery, the scene, the picture, the symbology that's imbued at the exact degree point of our new moon cycle. So we have a really amazing symbol this month, everybody. An evening party of adults on a lawn illumined by fancy lanterns. Now, some of the key words here are social life and compassion, or excuse me, and companionship and fun. So this will be a monthly cycle naturally involving social life, friends, and fun. And this is good news because uh, events on the global stage have been intense and dark. So there will be lightness for those of us on the Northern Hemisphere and on the Southern Hemisphere, both. So there will be a lightness imbued this month at the undercurrent. This is good news. Now, Taurus, for you, when we, when we take a look at the micro cycle for the Taurian demographic, your particular uh, evolving narrative, what is it that's going on for Taurians this month? You received two I Ching hexagrams to denote the narrative. The first was number two, the receptive, and it came with changing lines. And so what came after that was 45, gathering together. It's interesting because what this is referring to is the receptive talks about the power of allowance, the power of surrendering to what is. It's the power of quietness, of listening, of responding versus dominating and acting outwardly on something or on the circumstance or situation. So it is about allowing what is happening. And it's interesting because in this particular case, you are going with the flow, you are listening, you are um, actively paying attention or at least that's the underpinning narrative. You're the one that has to participate in opening your ears and eyes and really paying attention to what's calling. But what's calling is gathering together. And this really does have to do with 
um, the power of community, gathering people together, uh, a shared vision, a tribe. So this particular cycle for Tereans is calling to, it's rich with the theme of be open to come together with others. So it could very well be that for a lot of you out there, you are going to heed the call and you are going to have more connected experiences this month. Now, Taurus, if we move on to your spread and take a look here, um, there it looks like this month is going to be definitely positive, definitely for your growth. It is aligning you with your quote unquote right path. What is happening will be right action. It will be correct for you. I see a couple things as opportunities here that's showing up. First of all, I think this is a very good spread. Although I will say that I do think that some health stuff could be coming up for some people. So let's go through the spread. In the far right section there, you can see the pink card. That's in the spiritual sector. That's the mission of the, of the soul card. Underneath that is resistance, purge, balance. What this is about is um, it is important for your soul, for your growth right now, to purge or eliminate resistance to everything that is impeding your balance. So this month for you, as you see on the other side of the spread, the emotional sector, the very top card that's reversed there is discernment. Now the reversals are not traditional reversals like in the tarot. These are just giving us more information about the different sectors. So don't mind the reversals at all. In the emotional sector, it is a month for you to discern uh, and become more resolute with your intentions with regards to health that you used to have. That's what I want to say. I do think that possibly because there have been some tensions in the field and because Taurians have been through so much over the last few years, I do think that your health might be needing attention now. And so I do think that for you to get back to your natural state of health, which is the center cards that you see there, nature and health, for you to get back there, um, it is going to take you releasing any resistance or delays or procrastinations with regards to you stepping forward in that diet, in that exercise program, in that way of life that you have been thinking about. Especially now, I will say that health and the body are very primary, very key for... Um, all of the karmic pattern energies and storylines, narratives, soul stories that have been coming up. They've been very, very heavy. We've been clearing, our physical bodies have been clearing energetic stories and there's new energy that wants to use our bodies as a channel. So I really do believe, Taurus, that for you, um, and I want you to take a look at the top card there, Emergence. So what I'm going to say is it could be that for some of you Taurus, Tauruses out there, that there could be some things that emerge within the body system, a growth, some pains, some headaches, something that's going to give you a clue that your body is now calling you to pay attention to it, to honor it, to love it, to give it exactly what it needs. And it's going to take discipline. It's going to take discernment. So for you, don't resist any cleansing that might be needed. For you, whatever does come up this month is part of the path. It's part of your unfolding. It needs to emerge. The right path is that something might emerge into your field, into your body system, perhaps, that will force you, perhaps, to clean your act up with regards to exercise, health and healing, body, food, the water that you're drinking, um, any habits that you have that are ready to go, etc. So I do think that you are going to naturally, for a lot of Tauruses out there, you're going to naturally have a drive to return to your intention. Uh, if you look at the 
far left side, you see discernment, intention, return. What that's talking about is I think a lot of you are going to have a natural drive to return your body, your mind, and your emotions to a previous state of health that you used to know. That's what I really see for you. Okay, so then if we move back to Durga, number 43 Durga, that is who you are to become this month. And Durga indeed is the destroyer, Taurus. So this month, who are you to become? You're going to become or you, you are called to become Durga. She is the destroyer of everything toxic. She is the destroyer of weeds, of evils in society at large but here i think we really are talking about your body now it could be relationships it could be other things but you are to be the destroyer become resolute become determined to take care of yourself in a way in whatever way or ways is now necessary for you to move forward with your growth okay all right so let's move on okay everyone we're back and I am going to begin to turn these over. Again, I'd really like you to tune into just one of these cards. It's easy to select more than one, and I'm not gonna prevent you from doing that, but by tuning into your main core guidance, your main core animal totem guidance that wants to come through for you this month of August in our Leo new moon cycle, that is really going to be the optimal information for you because it's going to be the clear message. You're not going to be confused by the message. You're not going to be um, torn into two different threads of thought around the message. So try to pick just one. Okay. So here we go. Gecko. And the leaf just wanted to join us. Salmon. Actually, a beautiful wind just came up. Gaia. Dolphin. Lion. How perfect for Leo. Black cockatoo. Crow. Orange bellied parrot. Beautiful. Yeah, we have a little bit of a wind coming up here. Lotus blue butterfly. Condor. Golden orb spider. Albatross. Okay, so let me make sure you can see everything. Beautiful. So let's talk about it one by one. So the gecko. If you selected Gecko, everyone, what is asking, what your own higher self is asking you to um, attend to this month is thoughts around synchronicity, optimism, truth, and mobility, flexibility, going with the flow. This is number 33, as you can see, which is a master number. And that's something to be mindful of as well as you navigate your month. So if you picked Gecko, it's about activating in your life the thoughts, the perceptions around synchronicity, optimism, truth, and mobility. If you selected Salmon, this is number five. Number five uh, talks about creativity, instability, and change. This is about this month for you who select Salmon, faith, determination, independence, and change. So it's about you uh, adjusting yourself to these points. Have faith, be determined, activate your independence, and be flexible with change. If you selected beautiful Gaia, so of course Gaia is the Greek goddess of earth, and Gaia is about harmony, abundance, wholeness, and forgiveness. My holistic science uh, background was based on Gaia theory. So it's very keyed in to the work I do with connecting people's soul print to nature. And this is number 46. Four is about stability. Six is about 
guidance, family, home, faith. So, and that together, of course, is 10. One is new beginnings. But if we look here at the qualities, this is about, if you selected this card, you activating harmony, abundance, wholeness, and forgiveness in your life over the course of this month. Your main guidance. If you selected dolphin, this is number four. And dolphin is fabulous. The dolphin is about joy, light, flow, and compassion. So those are the qualities that are wanting to be evoked through you over the course of this month. Joy, light, flow, and compassion. And look at this, beautiful lion wanted to come up. And how perfect too. This is number 11, of course, a master number. Talking about light workers, talking about um, bringing your gifts to the fore, being a teacher. Now, Lion is about power. It's about loyalty, leadership, and family. So for you this month, if you picked Lion, it is about activating your innate power. You activating your own loyalty to your own ideas, to your own... Um, I'm hesitant to say belief systems because that can be too dogmatic, but loyalty to who you are, to your essence self. Leadership, activate your leadership this month and also be mindful of family. Keep family and bonds in your thoughts, mind and actions this month. So for those of you who picked black cockatoo, this is about heralding communication. It's about activating confidence. It's about companionship, activating companionship, and it's about communication. The number here is 45. So that equals nine, of course, four and five equals nine. Nine really is about completions and a graduating from the whole previous numbers, the whole previous cycle. Um, so, but this is about de the development of confidence, heralding new information, activating companionship and uh, communication as a general theme. If you selected Beautiful Crow, this is number 27, again adding up to nine. Okay, so again, if you selected this, there are some completions and endings that wanting to come about for you this month. So this again, everyone, is about communication. Crow specifically is about transformation. It's about stories, narratives. It's about universal law. So crows are traditionally like messengers, tricksters. These points, these portal points between dimensions, they are very powerful and very wise. So yes, indeed, communication, transformation, story, and universal law. And if you pick, now this is the first time this one's come out, Orange-bellied parrot, number 36. And look at that, everyone. That's also equaling nine. Okay, so we have the third nine in a row here. If you selected orange-bellied parrot, this is about activating through you radiance, expression, yet again expression. So communication is really coming to the fore here. Communication and acceleration. So this is about activating in an expedited way what you are here to express and communicate at this time. Beautiful. Now, let's take a look here. So if you picked the Lotus Blue Butterfly, this is number 34. Three and four equals seven. Seven really does talk about magic. Um, and this is about transformation. This is about becoming. So this is about an evolution of self that's activated or wanting to become activated through you this month. It's about lightness and it's about beauty. So this card is, there's a depth of transformation that's wanting to become activated through you for those of you who selected butterfly. Now, for those who selected condor, now condor has not come up for me either. So this is another new one, which is exciting. Condor is number 24. Two and four is six. Six is security, home, family, faith. 
And the details of Condor, what wants to be activated through you if you selected Condor, are about cycles cycles of beginnings, cycles of endings, what's going on in your life. It's about reflection. Condor is about reflection of your cycles. It's about perspective and it's about release. So if you selected Condor, everyone, this is about you deciding, making a decision to release what no longer serves you. Okay, reflect on what, what works, what doesn't, and move forward. If you selected the golden orb spider, number 32, three and two is five. Again, this is about change. So the golden orb spider is, a, is also a messenger. So light crow is a messenger, so is the golden orb spider. It's about balance. So if you selected spider, this is about you activating balance in your life this month. It's about awareness, becoming hyper aware of the energies and of the details of your surroundings and yourself. It's also about design. Traditionally, spider is about the web of life. So it's about understanding you as creator, co-creator of your living existence. And finally, if you selected albatross, again, another five. So two and three together is five, again, change. So we received at least three nines and we received at least three fives over the course of this reading. Now, if you selected Albatross, this is about activating through you this month faith. Have faith. Also, it's about endurance. So becoming one that is willing to endure. Go with what's happening. Release the resistance to what's happening. And endure the process because it's growing you. It is about a journey. And it is about hope. So if you selected Albatross, Two and three, again, is five, which is change. And it is about this month activating faith and hope despite the changes that are going on. All right, everyone. Beautiful cards. I mean, I'm excited to bring these forward for you. I love this deck. Um, this is the Animal Oracle card deck. So this is the deck here. Chip Richards. It's a beautiful deck. I absolutely love it. All right. All right. 